Hi again. So today I'm going to talk about a video by Dwayne Kellum. Uh, it's a high altitude balloon footage and as you can see it's absolutely stunning. A uh, really beautiful high altitude um, video here Dwayne. Congratulations. It's, a, it's really a really cool video. This was released uh, a day or two ago and today I saw a video by Wolfie6020 who um, used that video to debunk three flat earth claims. One, that uh, we never see stars in NASA photos. Two, that the uh, this video confirms the, the fact there is a pressure gradient in the atmosphere. And three, that there is an absolute ceiling for an aircraft, uh, which means they can't fly into space. If you haven't seen it, go to Wolfie's channel and check that out. It's a really good video. I just wanted to add one thing to that um, and debunk another flat earth claim. And that is that the horizon is flat and remains flat with altitude. So some time ago, I did this video, which looked at another of Dwayne's uh, balloon launches, and I tested the, the curve of the horizon at three different altitudes, proving that the camera used was not a fisheye lens, and showing very clearly that the curvature in the, uh, in the video matches the ex expected curvature that we'd see uh, if the Earth's a globe. Before I go on, by the way, just uh, apologies for the quality of the audio. My microphone died on me, so I'm having to use my laptop microphone, which is rubbish. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just do a quick analysis live on this video. This is just to show that I'm not cherry picking. Um, we can use any part of this footage at high altitude. What I'm going to do is pick a point um, Let's find a nice point where we get a good clear horizon. That'll do. Uh, we're going to take a screen grab of that at full screen. And then we'll paste that into Photoshop. One of the really nice things about this footage is that we can see very clearly the defined horizon. We can see the light of the sun there behind it lighting up the uh, the horizon and we can already see that there is a uh, definite slight curve to that what we're going to do is just adapt the image slightly so that we can accentuate the curve we're not going to add any curve uh, but we're simply going to stretch the image so the curve becomes more defined and we can see it more easily so first of all i'm just going to use the ruler tool across from one side of the horizon to the other and we can already see it's higher in the middle than at the edges, showing this curvature. Uh, if I then go to image rotation, we can swivel that to make it nice and level across the screen. Now we're going to take the image and stretch it. So at the moment, the height is 33 centimeters, and I've unlinked the width and the height. So when I change this, I'm only going to change the height. So I'm going to multiply that by 5 and change that to 165 centimetres high. So you can see that it's not added any curvature. These straight lines uh, in the rest of the image are still straight. But there, the horizon has a, a nicely defined curve. Now we're going to compare that to what we'd expect to see on a globe with a 40,000 kilometre circumference. So to do that, we're going to use Walter Bisland's Earth uh, Curvature app. This is very, very cool. There's a link in the description uh, if you want to check it out yourself. We're not going to put any objects in this. We're just going to look at the curvature of the horizon. So we're going to look at the height, which is in this shot, 35863. The zoom level of the camera is 50 is a 50 millimeter lens. This is confirmed in Dwayne's um, comment here. Uh, it's a Sony uh, 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. And uh, we can further confirm that this viewing angle is correct because when you change the zoom, it automatically changes the, uh, the view. And at a 50 millimeter view, or zoom rather, the view is uh, just a tad under 47 degrees uh, diagonal. And if we go to the specifications for the lens, we'll see that it's a 47 degree 
diagonal uh, angle of view for this lens. So this is correct. So this is the curvature that we should see on a globe the size of the nameless, faceless they tell us it is. So we're going to do the same thing there. Take a screenshot. Uh, we'll just do that. And now we're going to take that into Photoshop. Like that. And now we're going to stretch this by the same amount. Remember, we increased the height of the um, balloon photo by five times. So the height of this is 9.49 centimeters. So 9.49 times 5, 47.45 centimeters. Five. And that will stretch this by the same proportion as the uh, as the other image. Now we're just going to take this and drop it onto here, and then increase the size in proportion of the shift key pressed. So I retain the uh, proportion of the image. And if I just drop the opacity down, so we can see underneath it. We can move that up, and we can see that it matches pretty much exactly. Toggling back and forwards there, we can see that the expected curvature matches the Earth curvature that we see in the, in the photo. So I would say that this is a fourth claim that this video debunks, that the horizon is flat. It really isn't. Uh, there's several people in Dwayne's comment feed um, saying how flat the horizon looks. Sorry guys, you need glasses. Have another look. That horizon is anything but flat. Uh, anybody that would like to argue this is a fisheye lens, um, for a start, the still that I've taken is close to the center of frame and fisheye lenses distort upwards near the top of the frame, downwards near the bottom. Across the middle, there'd be no, dist no distortion if it was a fisheye lens, but it isn't a fisheye lens. And we can see that by the fact that as the horizon is moving up and down in the frame, it's not becoming uh, increasingly convex and concave as it does with a fisheye lens. Even down when it's low down here, there's still a noticeable curve. And if you want further proof of that, then check my previous video where I look at three different altitudes and compare the expected horizon curve to the actual curve. If it was a fisheye lens, then that curvature would be apparent at all altitudes. So a final thank you to Dwayne for uh, creating this, this video. It really is fantastic. Go and check it out, please. Uh, it's on Dwayne Kellum's channel. Uh, and he's got a load of other very, very cool high altitude balloon launch videos on there. So that's it from me. Thanks very much. Go ahead and click the like button if you even vaguely like that video. Feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell to let you know when I've released new content. Take care everyone and goodbye.